Hey everyone, in this lecture we're going to be solving problem number 9 in section 1.3 of your free applied discrete math textbook. Specifically, we're going to be determining when A cross B equals B cross A. Now something that's really crucial in this problem is that A and B are both non-empty. When you have a non-empty set, then that means that you can grab an element from that set. You can grab all of the elements from that set. Having the property that a set is non-empty is really convenient in problems. So we're going to let A be an element of A and B be an element of B. We know that A and B are non-empty, so we can do this. Now this means that A comma B is in A cross B, since A is in A and B is in B. And the ordered pair B comma A is in B cross A. But what if A cross B equals B cross A? What does it mean when these two things are equal to each other? Well, first, in order to understand what this equals here means, we have to identify what these things are. When you take two sets and you find the cross product, the result, the entire result, is a set in and of itself. And so this equals is a set equals, meaning that these two sets are the same. So this means that A comma B is in A cross B, which equals B cross A, which means that A comma B is actually in B cross A. And so that means A is in B and B is in A. But A and B were arbitrary. I just picked a random element from A and a random element from B, and then I showed that those two elements are in each other's sets, which is another way of saying that the set A equals the set B. And so that is the conclusion here that these two sets are in fact the same because if you take any one element from A, you can show that that element is B through this line of reasoning. Now, I just want to end with a visual representation of what we're doing here. We have a cross product between two sets. Now, you're familiar with cross products in the sense that you've seen the xy plane, which is what happens when you take the real number line and cross with the real number line. But in this case, we are crossing A with B and B with A. So if we want these two planes to be the same, to look the same, or to be the same sets, then we would need to make sure that the horizontal axes are the same and the vertical axes are the same which is just another way of saying that A equals B. That would work. That would guarantee that these two are in fact the same. The cross product is the same. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.